Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be another skincare video. I did make a skincare routine, a nightly skincare routine a while ago, but I am going to be making another one. This one is more updated and pretty true to what I do every single day. So I'm just going to start off what I do every single morning. Um, when I wake up, I'm usually in the shower and I wash my face using the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Um, so the reason, okay, so I have oily skin, but the reason I use the hydrating one is because a lot of people actually recommend that you don't wash your face in the morning because it's too stripping. So I just use the hydrating one just so I'm not overly stripping my skin and this, I mean, I wash my face really well at night so I know that my skin, you know, doesn't have any dirt or anything in it. It's just more oils from sleeping. So I use this one. It's gentle on skin, paraben free, non-drying, and also fragrance free. So that is a huge thing for me. So after I get out of the shower, I start with with any treatment. I have three of them that I usually use. So this is the one that I use most often. This is kind of like my everyday, but if I do switch it up, I have two other products that I use. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Power Serum. So this helps improve the look of fine lines, wrinkles, firmness, uneven skin tone, texture, and brightness. So I have, from going like this a lot, I just have a lot of wrinkles up on my forehead, and then I have some acne scarring kind of on the sides right here, and then on my cheeks, and this definitely has lightened up my scars, and also just kind of evened them out a little bit bit more. Um, I've been using this for a while now and I, I mean I really really love it. So this is also fragrance free and non-irritating. It does have a smell to it obviously. It, I mean it's a potent C serum so it has a smell but there's no extra fragrance that they put in it which is awesome. It is a little bit on the pricier side but I think with skincare it's kind of worth it because I'm 20 years old, gonna be 21 soon. I think the sooner I start to really care about my skin and what I put on it the better it'll be in the long run. I know I do wear makeup quite often but when I take my makeup off I want to use the best products that I can on my skin. So so if I don't use that I will use the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1% um, serum I guess you want to call it. So niacinamide is pretty much just helps to even out the skin tone. So visibly it helps regulate sebum and minimizes pores pretty much. So I mean it'll help with acne, it'll help just even out your skin skin care. So if I don't use the Peter Thomas Roth serum I will use this bad boy. And I don't use this one quite often. I mostly use that one but I try to try to switch it out. And then once a week, only once a week, I never do this more. Sometimes I even do it like every other week. Just when I really feel like I need to use it, I use the Ordinary Peeling Solution. It's um, AHA 30% and BHA 2%. Um, so this is just like a really great exfoliator. It's not a physical exfoliator, so it's not something that you like has a scrub to it. It's just like a chemical exfoliator. And so you put this on, it pretty much looks like blood. It's super fun to put on. It looks like I haven't ever like even used it, but I swear I, you really don't need a lot of it. But I use that one when I feel like I need to exfoliate my face and it leaves your face so baby smooth. It says that you can leave it on up to 10 minutes, but I only do like 7 minutes just because it's pretty strong. Like it's a very potent product and I just do 7 minutes just because I feel like 10 minutes is too long for my sensitive skin, so that's what I do. Um, so those are the three like treatment products that I have. I don't all use them all in one day. I recommend not overdoing your products that you put on your face just because it can be too much. So I mean switch it out every other day, whatever it is. Don't use too much on top of each other. I learned that the hard way when I was having that like weird rash on my face from using too many products and it wasn't good. So just be careful and know what your skin can handle. That's pretty much all you can do. So after that I just go on with my moisturizer. I use the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. This helps hydrate, smooth, and recharge your skin. This is really awesome for oily skin. So I like to use this one in the morning so I'm not going to be putting like super heavy creams before my makeup. This is just nice and lightweight. It's fragrance free. That's pretty much it. It smells good even though it's fragrance free. It still smells like coconutty, but they just don't add any like artificial fragrance in there. So. so after that, I go in with my CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen. This is 50 SPF. It's lightweight, non-greasy. It is a mineral sunscreen. Every single day you should be using a sunscreen. I don't use it at night, obviously, but every single day, every morning, I try to use this. Some days I don't if I'm just, if I know I'm just going to be staying home. But if I am going out to work or leaving, I do put this in. So I put this on. Next, I use my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. I don't always use this either. I mostly use this at night, but occasionally I will use it in the morning, just kind of depending how I feel. If I feel really tired, I'll put it on. This is also fragrance-free. It has a hyaluronic acid, so it doesn't really help 
like depuffing or anything but it's just nice because my under eyes get a little dry so it helps to like put moisture back in there and then your concealer stays on a little bit better honestly so um it's oil free fragrance free dye free non comma donogenic i never know how to say that but it doesn't clog pores this is a super good one and then i just go in with my laneige um lip glowy balm i heard that this doesn't really have any like good ingredient good ingredient ingredients <laughs> for moisturizing the lips but I still like to use it because it kind of gives you like a little bit of a glowy finish on your lips it's kind of more of like a lip gloss type thing I love the smell of it so I really don't care you can't really hurt your lips too much so I don't really care that much <laughs> that is everything that I use in the morning and so at night it's all pretty much different so my first product that I have been loving is this pharmacy green clean makeup melt away Clen cleansing balm this is a makeup balm that melts away makeup and pollution residue so even like super heavy eye makeup waterproof makeup it's awesome and I haven't been using this for too long but it is super super good it does have a smell to it it's kind of like a lemon limey fresh smell but honestly i don't care about fragrance when it comes in when it's a product like this because you put it on your face and it you wash it off right away just kind of like masks like it's a wash off treatment so it doesn't really matter to me before i started using this i was just using the garnier fructis um, micellar water and i still do use this one this one i keep in the bathroom and then the micellar water i leave in here in my beauty room so i do use both of them but this is the one that i have been trying to use a little bit more often <clears throat> and then you should be using a cleanser after that so you put that on you melt away your makeup you rinse it off so at night I use the drunk elephant number nine jelly cleanser this is amazing I love it it is a little bit spendier I think I think it's like 30 some dollars but it's amazing I believe it's fragrance free if it's not it is just a, um, a cleanser so you wash it off anyways so even back here it says just to use nightly and to skip the morning cleanse as it's not necessary because you cleanse the night before but I do have oily skin so in the morning I do get pretty oily so that's why I like to use more of a hydrating cleanser in the morning but it's super important to double cleanse I don't really think it's necessary in the morning but at night I do because I usually have makeup after my actual cleanser I go in with my Curology treatment I've been using this for a while love it after the treatment I go in with my Curology cleanser um, this is pretty lightweight as well if I feel like my skin's really dry. I go in with my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream if I feel like my skin's really dry like during the winter but most of the time I just go in with this because it's a nice one anyways. And then this is also fragrance free as well and as well as this I believe. Yep. And then again I usually go in with my gel cream or my eye cream and the lip balm as well so pretty self-explanatory i try not to overdo it with the products like at night i only ever use my curology i don't add any other products at all i mean it's got all the products that i or the ingredients that i need so that pretty much concludes my morning and nightly skincare routine comment down below if you have any questions if you want any recommendations on what to use for your skin as you can tell i have mostly fragrance free stuff i just feel like my skin reacts poorly to the fragrance and I feel like it's very unnecessary in skincare products because it doesn't do any benefits to your skin at all it's more of just like an irritant to your skin anyways so if you have fragrance in your products so be it whatever the next products you get you know see how much fragrance is in there because it's so unnecessary and long-term results is probably going to do more harm than good so if you're wanting to see a more in-depth video on like me putting on the products and stuff like that I can do that for you just let me know but give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of video and don't forget Forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos of me and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!